turn the world on with her smile Who can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it With each glance and every little move Make you show it Love is all you really know Need to waste it You can have the telling Why don't you take it? You're gonna make it Hi. Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to Brace Yourself. Hi, Chris. Hi, Ro. How are you? Great. Good. I'm glad to How be here. How you doing? Well, you know. You're not doing great. I'm not doing great. You're not doing great today. tonight. Well, this is show business. It is. The show must go on no matter what. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. We had a really big guest tonight. Wind up. Yep. And we don't know what happened. We, we don't know what happened. Good, I hope everything's fine. But she won't be joining us this evening. Yeah. And. You know, I know that I had people who were really looking forward to seeing her. Yeah, man. Let me tell you, I did some extensive yeah, research. I watched I a lot of clips of Good Times, good times. again. <laughs> Great stuff. But maybe, maybe, we don't know, we haven't heard anything, so. Yeah, so I hope everything's okay, yep. and, um, you know. Here we are. Here we are. What do you want to talk about? Oh, my God. Well, I got well, we have Judy. We have Judy's gems. So this is, it's a great show already. It's already fantastic. And her, her hair looks amazing. Yeah, she's all done. She looks up. great. Her hair did. We're drinking really good Long Island wine. Yeah, Norman Borghese. This uh -huh. is a 2010 Heritage Meritage. Red Table wine. It's, Just, it's not fan. It's a red table wine. It's good, though. It's one of their it better is. ones. So. It's very good. So Cheers. Cheers to Excellent. us. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So, um, you got some stuff to talk about. I do have some stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm a little excited about okay. something that went down. All right. So I got this in the mail. What What does that say? Mm -hmm. Peloton. You all see that all six of you? <laughs> Take a good look. <laughs> see what that says? Yeah, that's right. Welcome to the Century Club. You guys all thought I was kidding last that week when I said a hundred rides. That's a hundred rides. Oh well, will you look at this? And you would think Peloton would be like one of our sponsors. Oh, it's a nice shirt. Isn't that oh. nice? Look what it says on the sleeve. One hundred. One hundred. Oh wow, that is nice. Here. Century. Century. Right. So this is pretty fancy. It's got nice material. Now, do you in order to get this? Does it have to be a hundred in a row? No. So no. 100, okay. One hundred rides. And then, so um, I could get one in like 10 years. <laughs> you'll eventually get a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty exciting. That was some good stuff. So uh, today, I did a ride. I came, I got home from work, boom, yeah. ride on the bike. Um, it was a 15-minute high-intensity thing. That's right. why my hair is a little spitzed. But um, it's definitely not it's like not, that. It's not a it's center not, part. It's not, it's not a center part. It is, but. I don't even know if I have <laughs> But um, did that, right? Uh -huh. So that was day 58 in a row. So I had a pretty good wow, streak. And now great. I'm almost like, you know what it is? Like when you have like a good streak going and you really don't want to do it, but you're like, it's like, I have to. shit, man, I'm going to break the streak. Yeah. It's like so, Snapchat streaks, right? Yeah. It's just it's kind of, now I got to do it. But you get healthy. <laughs> yeah. But you, get, you would think I lose a lot more weight than I, than I you know, I keep talking 58. Days in a row. But well, not, listen. It's like throwing a deck chair at the Titanic. That's 58 the days in a row down. more than I've done. <laughs> well, we're going to get you on. And Leanne Hainsby. Like, Leanne, on? come on. You got a fan here. Why? Nothing. Not a response. Nothing. I mean, come on. Wow. It hurts, doesn't it? I don't know. Well, maybe I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk about Peloton. I love it. I know you do. <laughs> That's why I haven't run. So <laughs> these are he's probably mad at me that I haven't. We well, got anything together. I did. I, mean, I kind of ghosted you a little bit, but the DCRP ladies got together last night. Talk about that. Well, we did. St. Patrick's. We Day. did. Four of us went out. We we had a little um, uh, St. Patrick's Day cheer. Mm. You know, and we connected, which is always nice. Right now, so um, you want to give a shout out where you went? We we well, we were going to go to the Harp and Hound, but it was really crazy yeah, packed because yeah. it's an Irish place. So we went to Maxwell's. 
I wasn't winning jazz. I mean, you know, what do we have? We had, you know, we had jerks. We had nachos. We had Thai no, calamari. Gluten free nachos. They are gluten free. What? They are. I don't believe it. What else? Nachos? Uh, Thai calamari, which I didn't eat, and tater tots. Definitely gluten free. Which are definitely gluten free, but not on the diet plan. Yeah, but you're allowed to indulge. It's, it's <laughs> kind of a holiday. It, it is, it is, holiday. but I'm just, you know, I, I use that excuse a lot. Yeah. So know, I use Wednesday. I used to run for to keep the calories. I used to call my Cabernet calories, you right. know, whatever right. I burn, yeah. I can drink the wine, wine. kind of guilt-free. Now, I'm not really <laughs> burning too much. But you got to get out there, man. Let's do it. I know. Well, I'm waiting for the break. We're on break. You know what? We can do a guest ride on the Peloton to see if you like it, which would be tremendous. We can film that. And, and then if I like it. That's what I'm saying. You what? Do, you do it just like a test run. Yeah, but then what if I like I it? That's good idea. And I have to buy a Peloton? Well, yeah, if you like it. I mean, listen, there's other bikes you can buy. Yeah, I can. That one I just like. There's a lot of features to it. There's a lot of things you can do other than just biking. Like, mm. you can actually get the app. You can download the app. You can do uh, meditation. You can do yoga. You can do strength, strength training, core training, indoor running, outdoor running, all sorts of stuff. They're selling, like, treadmills now, too. All right, so could we, like, take an old bicycle <laughs> yep. and take the back wheel off? Yep, hook it right up. And just, so I'm in, like, and we lift it off the front a little bit, and, and it's like, could, it could cost me $35. <laughs> That's, yeah, you could go with the economy Peloton. Yeah. Well, we just call, call it, it the time. We leave off the Peloton. Not even, I don't even think it would um, be worthy of the time. <laughs> it would be like the... It's the pee bike. The the, the the Peloton, the fake Peloton. The photon. There we have that. They have the photon. photon. That's a futon. Oh, the photon's good. Yeah, photon. there's, there's a joke there somewhere. I'll somewhere. Find we'll get to it I'll eventually. Right. We've got a bottle of wine. No guest. No guest. We have Judy, like we, we said, Judy. so that's going to be good. That's excellent. But we can, listen, so I was, it was two pepper against peppers. Okay. That I was thinking wow. of. And one was going to be because of St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I, was working I like that. St. Yeah. Patrick's Day, but I went the opposite direction because Bernadette was in Good Times, like yes. sitcoms. So, which I, I had a feeling you would be doing, which was so cool because I knew. Did you do like, research? On no, but I just know sitcoms. Now, having said that, I'm going to look like a complete boob. No, and I think we'll bring Judy on for this too because it's the actual Pepper Gets Pepper has to do with spinoffs of sitcoms. So I tried to make it a little bit challenging. Yeah, that is a little challenging. It's not that challenging. Once you start rolling, you're gonna be like, wow, oh my gosh, like I didn't realize that. Like I did a lot of research, I was like, oh geez, yeah. Now I remember that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, because these are all like late 70s, we're teenagers. You know? Like 70s. You were a teenager in 79? No, I was 11. Damn it. <laughs> I was 11. I was a little girl. All right, Judy and I just, just a, see more light Just a and wee stuff. lass. And I do remember watching all those sitcoms. I do remember every show because what else, you know, there wasn't 700 channels, right? <laughs> no. There wasn't no, it wasn't Netflix where you can binge or anything like that. It's true. Have you been binging anything? Um, let's see. I binged on. Um, I'm a lazy binger. By the the Sinner. Now, this is funny. So every day at work, the um, office assistant, yeah, um, which is what we have to call them now, or administrative assistant, no longer clerical or secretary. Which that day that's is coming fine. Up though, right? That's fine. That day is coming. What's up. wrong it's with clerical? April. When did that? I don't know. It's I guess when did clerical get they're days? not really clerical. They do way more than than that. But anyway, so she on her lunch period, she goes and she sits. There's a little office off the back of my office, and she benches. and she watches her Netflix. She's in it. But I and she puts her headphones in, yep. and I just hear her laugh. What is she watching? And she's apparently she's watching that new Kevin James uh, show. Oh, the Pit. yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what it's called? The Pit? Yeah, I don't know. Sort of I think it's called The Pit, it. but she's been watching that and she's just laughing hysterically. So it's so funny. I, I, like, I sit in my I office like and laugh, laugh at her laughing. Would you rather watch a comedy or would you rather watch like a drama or like a suspense thing? Because both are good. Yeah, I like a comedy. You know, I, I, I like a show that can make me laugh. Like laugh. When you watch a suspense show and you watch like four before you're going to go to sleep, oh, it's not good. You're wired. 
totally fired up. Like Walking Dead. My daughter can't believe she looks at me. She goes, you're just going to go upstairs and, and go, go to, to bed. And it's like, no yep. <laughs> Zombie's going to eat And she's face. like, oh my God, I can't sleep. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it gets like, in, in, there's some really intense stuff going down. Yeah, it's really good. I'm waiting for the zombie apocalypse. I'm not ready, but it's I'm not, waiting listen, for it. Listen, there's no such thing as zombies. You never know. We didn't think there would be COVID. Look, here we are. Listen, I have a hard time believing in ghosts. And CF Wynn tells me there's ghosts. I still don't mm -hmm. believe it. It's a hundred percent ghost. I need proof, like proof, proof. You, well, you're never really going to get the proof. Why? You're not a believer, so you're oh, not so open you, to so, it. Oh, wait, so, so your premise is only if you believe will you see a ghost. No, I'm sure you see them all the time, but you explain them away. Do you as, believe in leprechauns? Did you see one yesterday? I saw a couple of really short guys. <laughs> what was his name? I didn't talk to him. <laughs> Speaking of talking to guys, like, what do we got? I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm off the dating. I'm focused. I'm laser focused on the career. Laser focused on Brace Yourself. I want Brace Yourself to blow up. I'm laser focused on comedy. Had a private comedy writing session. Oh, who? who? With Rich Walker. This Walker guy's moving out of my <laughs> Walker, what's up, bro? Like, uh, we, we, we were punching up the jokes. We were working on the new stuff. You know, he helped me flesh out some Well, you're getting ready. We got some stuff coming up. You know, can we talk about your Yeah, please, can gigs? we? Yeah, like, let's get into I it. I just booked another one. Let's go. Um, that one is, uh, oh, Susan Mars, where's Thelma? So in, in case you just tuned in yep. and you're looking for Thelma, we're not really sure what happened. We hope that she's uh, okay, but she's not uh, on the show tonight. Um, I, I don't have any details. I don't know why. I'm very disappointed. But Susan... Don't fret. But we're here, Susan. We're here. We have wine. Yep. All right. She says, I have a feeling Thelma got tanked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're working on that. We're working on it. Listen, you never know the day after St. Patrick's Day. Right. Things happen. Do. So, yeah. So, go ahead. Let's, let's All right. go. So, let's start with March 25th. March 25th. This is a big one. This is Mohegan Sun. Come on. Comics Roadhouse. Hello. Tickets available. On my web, on my Facebook page. Can you give the Facebook? Can you Roseanne Sorrentino? Yeah, Roseanne Sorrentino. Just go Roseanne Sorrentino. That's right. You'll find me. There I am. Give, let's give your Instagram handle. Uh, it's on Rose Sorrentino. Rose Sorrentino. Mm -hmm. It's there too. What else do we have? Um, I don't. I'm not really a tweeter. I don't Twitter. I don't tweet. No, no tweeting. I don't. My first of all, I could put the wittiest tweet and nobody even nobody likes answers. it. Yeah, Twitter's kind of dead. I, you know. And then it's, I just think there's like a lot of angry people on Twitter. Oh, Twitter's a disaster. So don't engage. Are so don't angry. engage on Twitter. Twitter, mm -mm. Like people with comments and stuff. People can. can be, people can be really nasty. They are. I just want to. Just want to fun. Just want to laugh, have fun. You know. Yeah, keep it light. Keep it. You know. Right. So keep then. I just got. So that's the twenty fifth. Uh, that's so the twenty fifth. So go ahead. Then April 9th. Go. Talk to me. Right? Is that a Friday? Yes. It is Friday. Governor's Little Room. Okay. All right. So there's only, I believe they can only have 20 no, people. That was going to be my next question. So what are the protocols now? So Only 20 people. What if you're vaccinated? Only 20 people. Damn it. So it's easy for me. Now I only have to, you know, say I'm getting two people. <laughs> that's right. Frank <Brent> <laughs> What day is that? That's the ninth. That's the ninth. I think that's a Friday. Because I think the Mets opener is the day before. It is. But they're not letting fans in, I think, until like after mm. April. Some shit like that. Yeah, my my, uh, my daughter just got an email from them because, you know, we yeah, had today. season today. tickets from yeah, last year. No, no, Never no. got to use them. So then after that, this one I'm, I'm pretty excited about. It's, um, I'm going to find it because I don't want to... Uh, you know, screwed up. Like, this is when we should be putting these up. I uh, should. I should. But, you know, I, I had a different plan for tonight. I know, but then we had 20 minutes to think about we what did. we were talking about. But, uh, but, and I'm, I'm foolish. It's not like we Clearly. preambled, like, the whole thing. We kind of do our separate research. We do. We do. So, um, oh, it's at Broadway Comedy Club. Um, oh, that one The on, Industry Room. That one and that's, today. Yes. And that is April 17th at 6 o'clock. The exciting one about that is... It is not only, um, well, the, the guy who is the head 
Booker, the mm. talent coach, the count scout. Uh, he's going to be there. Okay. And you get like a feedback session and oh, you get a tape I'm of your definitely. work. I'm going to that audience. 100%. And then it's also you're auditioning for the Manhattan Comedy Festival oh, and another awesome. comedy thing. Oh, and then fun. one uh, comic will get like a residency for a month or two, which I'm, I'm my Bridgie. Come on, Bridget and I are both doing that one. And then, um, <laughs> that was funny. the comments are great. I hope people are looking at the comments. Um, and then April 24th at the loft. Hello. For, you got a lot of stuff going on. Rich Walker's headline in that one. Um, you may have to come to that one. I don't know. He doesn't invite me anywhere. I get nothing from this. Get, <laughs> I need help so, writing jokes. I get nothing. You don't need help writing jokes. Oh, I do. Maybe. Um, cliche, par du blah. Yeah. Wait, ne the next show, I think we're going to That's the only out. French I know, and I don't even know if I said it correctly. It sounded all right. It sounded pretty good, right? Cliché, par du de blah. There it is. There's, there's blah. There's a lot of... There's, there's stuff there going on. We're, we're going to try... French. There's a lot of cliché, yeah. par du... So we're going to try to break out a new segment. Yes, we next are. Yeah. It's a short segment. It's not a whole big segment. Yeah, it's going to be very short. But it's something. So we're, we're trying to come up with stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's it for my shows right now, all right, well, which busy. isn't that's, bad that's at fun. all. So it's kind of a bummer that even like a month, look an outlook to a month, like people are getting vaccinated yeah. and, and more and more, um, the, the more trouble uh, the governor gets in, the less restrictions we have, which is kind of, it's a, it's a, yeah. it's a thing, it just happens. Well, did you fine. see the, the It's a Wonderful Life meme? No. When he's holding the little girl at the end of the tree and she's going, look, Daddy, every time another accusation is made against Cuomo, a restriction is lifted. That's fine. <laughs> that's, that's comedy gold. Right? So that that's, is, it's that's, fantastic. That's really good. So, fantastic. So you would think that, you know, people would be able to let more people in at some point once you get oh, back, vaccinated, which means at some point, you need to be wearing. We're we're going to start selling our yeah. T-shirts to let everybody well, know. I'm halfway there. You have I got first. my first shot on um, Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. So. So. By were, you sword, were you a little sore? Did you know it was sore? Yeah. You yeah did. So did, did we go Pfizer, Moderna, or J, J and J? Pfizer. You have, you're your Pfizer. I, I didn't pro Pfizer. It's just that's Pfizer. What, that's that's what how you did. say. That's what they said. They said you get the Pfizer. Pfizer. Because so there's a P in front of the Yeah, it's silent. The P is silent. No, that's not true. Like in psychiatrists. Because then it would be Eliton. No, that, that P is not silent. <laughs> Eliton. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm halfway there. Yeah. So I'm excited. 21 days. Because we're, we're going to, um, we're going to, <laughs> I'm loving the comments. We are going to um, be selling shirts. Well, you got to let people know that A, inoculations are safe. Yes. And B, that if you get vaccinated, you're not alone and you're you should not, be grateful. And you shouldn't be afraid. I wouldn't be right? afraid. Right? I'm not Why afraid. Why would you be afraid? So, 17 days mm -hmm. after you get the first Pfizer shot, you're allowed to go in and get your second. Can't have it before 17 days. Right. It doesn't really count. Yeah, no, no. But it's kind of just a booster. So when you have your first one, you're kind of already 89% good. The second one is the booster shot. So some people have been saying you get sick, some people you don't. Like, That's I what I'm worried about. I'm just hoping I don't I don't. But I know a bunch sick. of people that have not had any effects whatsoever. And then conversely, I know I know a few people that have actually uh, taken, taken a hit on the second time. But not too mm. bad. But not too bad. So I'm looking forward to number two, yeah. which for me is Sunday. Ooh. So I'm going to be good. You to are going to go. be good. No Holy mas. cow! No mas. That's fantastic. Now let me ask you a question. Okay. So ask you're an administrator. I am. Can you mandate? Can the can the school district mandate that the workers within the facility get the vaccine? No. Why? Companies can. Why can't the school district? Now it's up to every individual what you want to do, and I wouldn't tell right. anybody. You do what you want. Is your body right? I don't know the legalities surrounding it. I just, um, I mean, I mean, they are mandating you know vaccines now for kids. Like, if you don't get your vaccine as a kid, if you're not up to date on all your vaccines, you can be excluded from school until you do so. So, okay, and you can't use the so letter that, or the religious belief okay, anymore. But that, but that's what I'm saying. So, 
Can't they just roll that into that? I mean, probably, but the anti-vaxxers would I'm go. talking about your workers. I'm talking about your teachers. Some people are, are anti They're anti-vaccine, so I don't know if you can do that. I don't know. This is a good question. We need, to go, we need to do an investigation. Is there a lawyer out there? Can we do that? Hello? If you're a lawyer, chime in. Listen, there's 10 of you. Somebody's got to be a lawyer. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I don't. Because uh, it's a very hot topic right now. It is. I mean, if the vaccine works, the, the thing that confuses me about the vaccine is the 90-day thing. So, like, after 90 days, am I no longer vaccinated? No, you're good. You're good? Sure. Okay. Cha, yeah. So, we have new sh prototypes of the shirts. We do have new prototypes. I made new ones. We're mm -hmm. going to we're gonna trick them up. So, if you want yeah. one, I want to the chart. I don't even know. We don't even know yet. But if you would be interested, if you would wear this, or if you know some goofball who would wear it. What are you talking about goofball? Well, some people would probably not wear it. Frown upon wearing the Might shirt? frown upon it. Some people. I think it sends out a, a good message. I think everybody. it's very positive. 100%. So should we show the first one? Yeah, I, I, I revamped. Which one do you want, the black one or the white one? <laughs> you, you pick. All right, I'm just going to do the black one first. All right. Right. So vaccinated and, and grateful, grateful, I'm not afraid. Afraid. You changed Sorry, it. I can't change it. Vaccinated and grateful, I'm not afraid. I think that that would make people feel good if they know when you walk into a place and you're not wearing a mask, maybe yeah. they go, oh my gosh, not, oh look, no. she's vaccinated and grateful and, she's not, and afraid. not afraid. She's not afraid of the vaccination. No. And we're going to get the Brace Yourself logo, like logo on the back, back. Or maybe on the... Yeah, we sleeve, can do that right? almost like the Century Club. Right. You get it right there. Yeah. Brace yourself. So, and, right. we're, and, and so that's, that's that that's one. That's the first one. If you like that one, we're taking orders now. We are. So if you want them, you just and have to hit your us up in the messages. And we need your socks. And we will contact you via messenger when we get the price. But if you we're, don't, we're trying to keep it at a decent price yeah. point, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be crazy. And so, by the way, if you don't love that one. Yeah. We have another one. We have another one. We have this one. Because this one's like a public service announcement. People everywhere need to inoculate safely. That is important. You want to make sure that you sign up, you do it correctly, you check with your yeah. doctor. Don't get it. You know, if the you're. The faster we do, the faster we get back to normal. That's right. The faster we don't have to wear a mask everywhere we go. Yeah, so that's the good thing. Really so nice. in your office now, if everybody gets inoculated, yeah. no more masks. So, and that's what the CDC says. I'm only following the CDC guidelines. Exactly. So if, if you're interested in any of those shirts, <laughs> you know. just let us know, and we're gonna try to keep it. We're gonna try to keep it to a low price point. We didn't. We didn't even. We didn't even thought about this yet. We didn't even get to that point yet. Did you like the colors? Should we trick up the colors? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind a, a black T-shirt. I like it. black yeah. and white. Black goes with your jeans. It yeah, works, you can wear it. So, so, and, and before, let's take a, a quick break. Since we're showing pictures, let's remember our sponsor. Sponsor. The Sleepover Fairies. Mm -hmm. uh, I just got her website up. Excellent. So I'm going to put it on my Facebook page. But if you are interested in having a sleepover party, you should call Allison at the Sleepover Fairies, 631-383-3848. Book your party now. It is not just for little kids. It's for bachelorette parties, sweet grown 16s, grown-ups. So she does she does it all. She's phenomenal. So uh, if you're interested in that, call again, 631-3848. She does have a website. I'm going to put it on my Facebook page. Brilliant. All and right. we're going to scroll that next week. We are going to scroll it, and uh, we're going to be filming uh, a commercial with her. Right? That's what's telling me. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was supposed to say. I don't have anything. All right. My bad. So, all my right. Bad. Moving on. Let's bring on Judy, maybe. All right. You think she's ready? Oh, there's comments. She looks like, yeah, there's comments. There's Allison, yes. Uh, so, yes, people are asking about um, Thelma. Again, if you just joined, we're very sorry to say we don't know what happened, but Thelma is not on the show tonight. No. Nope. And uh, I hope that she's okay. I hope that everything is, is fine with her. And um, we're still going... Full steam ahead, though. Well, this is what we do. Hold on. Go ahead, show everyone what it says. It says, ring for wine. So, 
Your ring is my... I ring the bell. He pours the wine. And this is why we good, get along. It's a pretty good relationship. It's why we get along. <laughs> because when you ring it, then if I'm pouring yours, I'm definitely You're going to pour yours. Mine. It's so a win-win. Yeah, I win every time. And by the way, we got plenty. Yeah. It ain't do. like I'm running out. No, thank goodness. I got new shipments this week. Pretty oh, exciting. Phelps awesome. and um, Duck Horn I got. Is this a new and one? And I got. That's a new guy, yeah. Oh, Cab Savignon. You should pick that one next time. I told you pick. I know one. you did. I Listen, know you picked the winner. This is good. This is very good. Well, I, you know, you know that's Napa stuff, out. but this is like Long Island vintage. Yeah, we're throwing it out to Long Island this week. So yeah. we have our Long Island um, sponsor, and we have our Long Island wine, and you know, so it's all about Long Island. So, so let's get Judy on because yeah. everybody loves Judy. Too bad that show everybody loves Raymond has already been taken because the show everybody loves Judy. She'd be hilarious. I agree with that. Hi, Judy. Hi. Judy's in a different lighting. Look how yeah, she radiant. looks radiant. Like, this is two weeks in a row that you're radiant. Your hair's all dead oh. and makeup on. And you're bowling your brains well, out. Things you are know, good. I just, I just feel like... Um, you know, I'm kind of coming to the end of the road, and I just want to... What? What, what, what do you mean? mean? You know, I mean, you never know what's around the corner of the road. So <laughs> I want to, I wanna just, you know, just kind of see what, you know, what other looks I could accomplish. All right. Well, Mom, uh, John Edward Thomas says, I love Judy. Judy looks beautiful. So yeah, see, everybody can't be wrong. And everybody can't be wrong. Well, that's that's very nice. Thank you, John. And um, you. you do. Yeah. You look, I love the new background. I love that you're sitting on yes, the couch. Yes, this is exciting. Well, I actually, actually, I, I'm on my new computer. You know. Oh. Yeah, because my other one is dead. But I considered going in the bathroom because the lighting in there is great, and I could have had the shower curtain in back of me like a backdrop. Yeah. Uh, but on, but it just it it's you could see too much. You knew I was in the bathroom. Yeah. And I didn't want anybody to get the wrong idea. Yeah, we didn't want anybody to think you were like yeah, having a seat in the can. Having a seat in the can. <laughs> yeah. So I said, no, it's not going to work. So I'm sitting on the couch. We're from the can. It's gems of Judy. <laughs> so we we'll have to sit on what the tub edge, or are you moving a chair in there? No, I was going to put a chair in there. What would it look funny if you're sitting on like the tub? Yeah, the edge of the tub. Or a shower seat. Well, listen, the, the, the commode was opposite the vanity. I could have sat on the commode. And there it is. And there you have it. And there That's, you have it. Why wouldn't you, by the way, if you're in there? But, no, it's not opposite. It's a little, uh, you know. It's so, all right, speaking of commodes, so I was on the phone with a parent uh, at the beginning of the week. And I was talking to them about their child who's not doing too much work, which is really common now with kids. They're not doing their work. They're not doing well. And I'm, and, and I'm trying to talk to her. And not once, but twice during our conversation. Oh, no. She flushed the toilet. Oh, my God. They were just saying about that tonight on The Five. They said, don't do a Zoom call in the bathroom. Right. And I'm trying to and my the guidance counselor is sitting next to me. She's falling off the chair because it was just so funny. So I'm trying to be so serious. You know, little Johnny's not really doing what he needs to do. And it's not looking good. And it's like, whoosh. Now, was the video on? or was No, it, thank God. That, it was just, see, that's brilliant. So that the video is on. This yeah. is the problem with the AirPods because you can do anything you want. Like, you're up and you're about. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't know what everybody else can do. Yeah, you don't even care. Like, you just go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. and, you're just doing, and you don't think people are going to hear that. They can you can definitely hear that. Oh, you can hear everything. Everything. Yeah, so don't, make, don't fluff. Where, it goes. None of that. Oh, that's that was it. that was big Wendy Williams news today. Did you oh, hear that was trending? No, she uh she did a, a little accident. A belch poof. A belch? A, a burp and a fart yeah. at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> they kept playing it on a loop on the radio this morning. Oh no, it's yeah. horrible. I mean, you know, come on, it happens to the best of us. Wow. Listen. I mean, thank chairs. God these are cloth chairs. <laughs> Wait a second. What are you saying? Maybe. Maybe oh, once gosh. or twice. 
<laughs> I the, sat here petrified in fear, open. Yeah, right. It's usually <laughs> after the show. That's when the real stuff I'm happens. kidding. I won't do that. Here. 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 On air. On air. Don't do that. It's rude. Listen, so it's a it, it's a human thing. It is, but it should not be something that you proudly I don't, know. by the way. At ever. Ever. That's impossible. Ask Michelle if I've ever done it in front of her. She'll tell you right now. No. no. I understand that. You've never done it in front of Michelle or you've never done it ever. Oh, I've done it. Oh, okay. In the privacy of my you've own. You've never self. passed gas in front of your not wife? Once. Wow. That's, I don't know how it's I feel about that. Conversation. I don't know how I feel about that. That's just my own personal thing. All right. I think that's very nice. I wish that my ex-husband would have been a fan of that thinking. <laughs> We've never played turtle. <laughs> no. The, the Dutch oven? The, first, the Dutch yeah. oven? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Nice. Good for you. Where did this conversation? I don't know. I wouldn't see Williams. if Thelma was here. We, we wouldn't be talking about, about this stuff. <laughs> or the Thanks, Bernadette. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're gonna pepper gets pepper. Which one are you? You had two, you told me, right? I had two, but I'm gonna do the spin-off edition. Okay, so this is spin-off. So as you um, know, mm -hmm. good times, spin-offs, right? Yes. Judy's gonna be I think Judy's gonna do Well wait, I can't see. No. So wait, mom, do you know what um Show Good Times was a spinoff of. I, can we get to? Oh, the, is that a question? Can we get to the thing? I'm sorry. Why are you doing a pepper? And get my bad. Uh, Judy gets I'm sorry. Pepper. I'm sorry. Judy got pepper. <laughs> Judy got pepper. All right, go ahead. I, I, shh, I'm quiet. Do we have a gem? Yeah, she has a gem. Oh, we're gonna pepper first. We'll pepper first, then we'll gem. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna name an actor. Right? Mm -hmm. You gotta guess the name of the actor. Mm-hmm. Thomas. You're gonna, you're gonna name the actor and we have to name the uh <laughs> <laughs> we just <laughs> you the question. What? Nothing. We're not talking to you. All right, so All right. I'm gonna say an actor's name. You're okay. gonna guess what show that he's most famous for and what show spun off from there, and then the actor who was in that. Holy, so that's a multifaceted question. But this is how you do the spin, spin off. All right, okay, now. let's do it. So if I said to you the name Henry Winkler, you would say, what show? Happy Days. Happy Days. Give me a spin off. Oh, Laverne and Shirley. You're both right. Laverne and Shirley first. Give me an actress. Erin O'Brien. Who? No, Erin. What the heck is her name? Oh, you're close. Oh, it was better with an M. Yeah. Moran. Erin Moran. Erin Moran. Moran. You're right, and you're right. You. That's one demerit. But uh, who's Italian? Joni loves Chachi. Who's Chachi? Scott Baio. Scott Baio. Oh, you, know, you know yourself. I knew my Joni loves Chachi. Can you go 100% two weeks in a row? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, the pressure is on. You know, I kind of screwed up. Okay. Because I'm going to give you now the name of the character. Okay. That would, if I said Fonzie, you would have known it was him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I'm going to give you the name of the character. Okay. You give me the, sh the show he was on. Okay. The spinoff, mm -hmm. and then that. Mike Stevich. Stivic. Oh, well. <laughs> right. Spin it. Oh, it was, um. There's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're in the family. What? The Jeffersons. The Jeffersons. Yeah. What about it? The spinoff was that's good. Exactly one. That. Done. That's exactly All right. That. Yeah. Woohoo! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, Meathead. Mike Stivic. Mike yeah. Stivic. AKA Meathead. Meathead. Rob Reiner. All right. Yeah. Walter Finley. Who? Walter Finley was the name. Lord. After Lord. The Maud. That's correct. Oh, all right. Give me the spin off of Maud. Good times. Good Esther times. Roll. Yeah. John Evans. Well, I had Bernadette. Jimmy J.J. Walker. Yeah. And, oh, what's his name? Who? The father. Jim, John, John Evans. John Amos. Amos. Amos, right. Amos. What? What? 
what um, a trailblazing series was he on and what was his name? Well, what was his name? You're talking the miniseries Roots. Yeah. And I don't remember his name. I, I was I was looking him up a little. No, no. that was um, LeVar Burton. Yeah, that's okay. LeVar Burton. I don't remember that. Whole thing. And do you know what other show he was on? What other um, sitcom? Oh, uh, he was on one after that where he played the patriarch. I can't remember the dad. He was on the Mary Tyler Moore show. He played what? the Wither Man. Yes, he did. He played the one? Yeah. Yes. No. No, he no, was the night was the newsman. Oh, he was the news editor. Yeah. So we got a couple of comments on here. Now John Edwards said Laverne's husband in real life. Who's Laverne's husband in real life? Um it that. was Rob Reiner. Oh, it was oh, Rob Reiner. Yeah. Oh, all right. Good one. He's also the star of oh, Oak Calcutta on Broadway with my ex neighbor's mom. What? From Maud. These are comments. I'm reading comments. Oh, from Maud. Yeah. Wow. Holy cow. He knows a lot of stuff. He knows he a lot Thomas. of stuff. I know. He does. We should have had him back on today. John, what are you doing? See, I sent you the link. <laughs> All right, Judy, you ready? I'm Sam always Malone. Oh, Sam cheers. Malone. Cheers. Uh, yeah. And spun off to? Well, um, Frazier. And who's the guy? Um... I can never oh, remember his goofy name. Oh, you know. No, I know it. This it's like on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer. That is correct. And David Hyde Pierce. Also correct. And the little dog, Eddie. Yeah. I'm going to give you another one from this. Richie Cunningham. Happy days. You can't use the same one. Spin it. Huh? You can't use Happy Days. Had another spinoff. Oh, um, well, hmm. uh, it was Ryan Shirley. It was Shirley. Uh, and the guy, the actor who was in the spinoff, uber famous. Was that the uh, restaurant? Uh, the you know, the wax on wax off guy. Karate Kid. Karate, no, no, that's, that's no, not a Karate Kid, but Arnold's. Yeah. No. 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 Um, no, no, no. Um, what is it? I did. Pinky, uh, Pinky, Pinky Tuscadero. That was a spin off. How was that a spin off of Happy Days? He was an alien and he visited Fonzie. Oh, Mork and Mandy. Oh, oh my goodness. Of course. And I have to tell you something. So, my friend Heather Knudsen answered that. Yeah. And this is a, a woman who grew up not allowed to watch TV. And she, she pulled she Mork and Mindy right out of the air. Good yeah, job, sure. Heather. Awesome. <laughs> well played. That was well played. All right. Now, no more of that. So now okay. we're going to say, Robert Guillaume played who? Benson. Benson. Which was, which was a spinoff of? Oh. Oh, was that um, <laughs> oh, Soap? she's right. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You are correct. Oh, thank you. Soap is a good one. I thought I would stump you on that one. Who else was in Soap? Fam another famous... Catherine Hellman. Catherine Hellman. That's right. Um, um, Paul Billy Crystal. Billy no, Crystal. Billy Crystal, yes. Yeah, Billy Crystal, which is... Uh, that was such a funny show. I just yeah. want to on. Hey, it's been you. on. It's been on. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was so great. Wow. Who wrote the Jefferson's theme song? We're moving on up. Oh. Uh, Do you know this one? To a deluxe apartment. I know you know this. We're moving on up. I don't know. Danny. I don't know who wrote it, though. I don't know who wrote it. Do you know, Judy? No, I did at one point, but I don't remember. I really don't. Right, so it kind of ties into this theme tonight. She was an actress on one of the sitcoms. You know, I'll tell you which one it was. You ready? Yeah. Good times. On um, good times. Um, not Janet Jackson. 
No, not Jasmine. No. One no, what's her name? Yeah. Well, yeah. Bob Marley's mother? Janet Dubois. Janet Dubois. Ja oh, okay. She Walona. actually played Walona and wrote. Like, she was like, I'm bored. Like, I come in, I, I do one line, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So Norman Lear said, well, you know, write something. So she wrote it. And she went to her mom, like, what do I write? I don't want to write. She wants me to write. And she wrote this song, and he took it. He was like, yeah, it's okay. And then he made the, he made the theme song. Wow, the that's amazing. And then one time, I watched an actually interview with her, and she was talking about how she was on a video Hall show, and they had her singing different versions of just Good Times theme song. Oh, geez, for the really? whole hour. Yeah, it was pretty interesting stuff. So um, that is my Pepper Gets Pepper. That was a good Pepper Gets Pepper. That you, was all, good. you all did pretty bloody good. I, I, I had which a means, feeling I was going to do pretty good. Which means sitcom. I need to tweak this a little bit. Well, sitcoms are, are in my wheelhouse. I used to watch, I still love sitcoms. And by the way, in 1979, you were on tour, so you couldn't watch too many. No, 1979, sitcoms. I couldn't. But I saw oh, yeah. reruns. So what, what? So every show, every city you went to didn't have a television? I was working on the stage at that <laughs> hour. Every night. Did you do every single night? Every single night, twice on Wednesdays and Saturdays and Sundays. Wow. Yeah, that's a grind. Eight shows a week. Eight shows a week. Eight shows a week. Eight shows a week. Yeah, a lot of work. It was fun. Of course it's fun. It wasn't, Your Annie it wasn't work. It was fun. It was a good time. If you're Annie, it's fun. If you're anybody, it's fun. If you're the mother traveling, it's fun, right, Judy? More fun. <laughs> Listen, I'm a nobody and I'm having fun, so it doesn't matter. Judy had a good time. Good time. Do, do, do. Good time. All right. Do you have what have you got in the, in the glass? Is that, is that a stuff? little white wine? You do white? It's a little rosé. Is it your notorious pink Grenache that you love? No, it, but it's very good. It's Gren something or other. Okay. I, yeah, I think I bought it. I don't know. I don't remember. So do you have a gem for us this evening? Yeah. Huh? What you got? Do you have a gem? Oh, a gem. Well, you know, I made a new, you know, I turned over a new leaf thinking I'm not going to complain about anything anymore, but uh, I can't help it. I can't help it. There's too much to complain about. There, there, just, there just is. It, it never goes away. It never leaves me. No. I mean, you know, I've been spending a lot of, a lot of time in doctor's offices lately, as you know, and... Why, oh, why do they have to continually run News 12? I was sitting in an office the other day for over an hour, and it kept coming on and coming on and coming on. Why do they do that? I know why they do it. So nobody has to get up and change the channel. And, you know, there's a rotation of, of patients coming in but why can't you have something interesting on you know i was in another doctor's office and they had that hgtv on yeah which is okay you know it's it's good for That's women okay. good for men you know everybody is something for everybody but you know if you see the weather once i saw the weather like four times and i and then of course i couldn't hear the tv they never put it loud enough so you're trying to read lips it's just aggravating it just I is. Have a question. Why don't you just get up and say, can I have the remote? No, because with COVID, I can't touch the remote. Why not? Because they won't do that. Are you kidding? It's COVID. You can't touch anything anymore. You can't, can't change the channel. Change your channel. Hey, Siri, change. Get away from News 12. That's what I was saying. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's, I mean, you know. They do now. They have a you push the button. But it, yeah. it, it makes you aggravated. That See, you me, it's like, oh, here it comes again. Here yeah. it comes again. You can, you can watch an hour of News 12 and that's it. And then it's the same. Well, on, it's it's on, on a loop, loop and it's like, why? Yeah. But it's just so annoying. As I said, there's plenty of other things that they, you know, they can put on anything, um, you know, anything. Yeah. Other than well, News 12. In Zilka, radiology, if you need an MRI or, or, yeah, or, or you know, else. an X-ray. They have the tapes of the old sitcoms. Yeah, they do. But you know what? But you know what? They're gone. They're not even there anymore. So 
Yeah, well, used to. Probably because they played those old sitcoms. They're not there. Probably, yeah. yeah. That was an awful place anyway. But anyway, so, you know, and we I like was talking about new sponsors, Zilker uh, Radiation. She's like, that was awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a new sponsor tonight. Uh, they Zilka, yes. Oh, they're they're Zilch. not. They're gone. <laughs> All right. Well, and and so you know, Judy, you make a valid point. Though I'm not going to lie, it's a valid a valid, valid point, point. But I don't think that if you went up to the camera and said, "Listen, lady, no, Dad said me, I know I can't change it. It's programmed or something. It, you know, they don't want to be bothered. That's why they have News 12 on." Because they don't have to do anything. And she just think going you and going. Right. What? Good. The Food Network. I like Food Network. I'm in yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, if they have, you know, premium networks, I don't know what they paid for. But even so, you know, they could find something. I mean, cable. You know. I mean come on. They're getting all those copays. They could afford to have a exactly. little. Uh, Probably. Probably. Right. And, you know, I got a bill the other day. Mm -hmm. A second notice, right? And I went, oh, no, no, no. I never get second notices. My bills are paid. And, you know, of course I called. And, yes, it was paid. And I don't have a balance. But, you know, once again, I know certain people who just it pay it, don't even, you know, question it. Yeah. And, you know, that's how they make money, too. Because they don't give it back to you. They keep it on your account and you don't know about it. So uh, speaking of accounts, I think I have to really do a deep dive into my financial life because it's not a really luxurious financial life. You're not living that dream. But I got two letters today. One wow. was from Best Buy telling me that someone was, uh, or that I was trying, I made a request to access my uh, bestbuy.com profile, which I don't have. I have it. I have a best buy. You didn't, answer, you didn't answer the email, right? That's just it wasn't an email. It was a mailed letter from Best Buy. So I called, and they canceled my card, and they're reissuing me a new one. a scam. And no, it wasn't. I called the Best Buy. And they said, "Yes, we sent you a letter." They said, "We we sent you a letter because someone tried to access your oh, Best Buy profile." Code. And then I got. You got to change your password from Andy one two three. I know. But then I got a credit card from the Finger Hut. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what they sell. There's, there's did you have an order from Finger Hut? I did not. You should have told that before my third question. <laughs> I, I did. I did not apply. Well, for you that. know, I got to show you something. This is really good. Oh I really appreciate this. I did not. This has nothing to do with the finger hut. What is the finger hut? I have no idea. <laughs> but I have six hundred dollar credit limit in it. Fantastic. I don't know what you can get. I canceled it. I called them up. I'm like, yeah, I don't want this. Mm. No, I don't the need any. Do you see this? <laughs> What's that? I paid thirty one dollars for this. What Why? is it? They were supposed. It was supposed to go under the door to stop drafts. But it doesn't work. You know what, Judy? No more internet shopping for you. You are the QVC queen. <laughs> I used to be. But is, do you believe this? You believe this? And it took about six weeks to get here. I have a question. Where did you find that online? Yes. That's it. Put, take it with the computer. It's an it looks so good. <laughs> I don't know. You know what works equally as well? A towel. Towel. Yeah, well, I have, I have one of those snaky things that go into there. But but the, the good part is it took so long to get to me that I called my credit card company and said I never got it. So they gave me a credit. And here it is. And there good thing, because that looks like shoddy quality. Yeah. All yeah. it is is styrofoam. It's styrofoam. I open up my pool. I need those like yeah. new noodles. Save it for pool. You can have them. But buyers beware. Stay yeah. off of Facebook. Don't buy anything off of Facebook. Oh, yeah, you can't buy anything off Facebook. No. Except Shoes, for especially. So, Linda Joe's asking the question. So, who is Roxy Roca's Helen from the Jefferson Sun? Marley. Bob oh, Marley. yes, he is. You should answer that question. Do you know Judy? 
Yeah, Bob Marley. Yes. He's married to Lisa Bonet, or was. And that's Roxy Roker's son. You mean Lenny Kravitz? Lenny Kravitz. Mm. Yes, Lenny Kravitz, not Bob Marley. Lenny Kravitz. I'm sorry. Lenny she Kravitz. was. Wasn't she? Yeah, but who was she is, married uh, to? I know it was Mike Evans. Yes. Who wrote what sitcom? Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know what that. I don't. Good guess, but no, Linda says. Maybe I'm wrong. It's not Lenny Kravitz. Maybe it's Lenny Kravitz. I don't know. I thought it was Lenny Kravitz. Maybe we're on delay. No, Lisa Bonet is married to Lenny Kravitz. And yes. was Lenny Kravitz's father? Yeah, I know. Wasn't Lenny Kravitz's father Bob Marley? No. no. Well, then no. I don't know. I don't know either. Somebody out there, Google it. Let us know. What was the question? Who is Roxy Roker's son? Lenny Kravitz. Yes. We got confirmation on that from Linda. Mm -hmm. So you didn't nobody answered my question on, on who Mike what show Mike Evans wrote. He was Lionel, took a break. Lionel from what? Oh yeah. Jefferson's. He was the son. Oh yeah. he ended up writing. He was on for one season and wrote Good Times. Oh. Yep. Oh, Bringing yeah. it back full circle. That's what we do here. <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot of, wow. a lot of ridiculous knowledge I know now. Yes, you know you a lot of that. Like, I'm going to be your lifeline if you're ever on Millionaire. Like, who wants to? Oh, you're like, my lifeline, 100%. I, I, I'd like to call Chris. I'd like to phone a friend. You can bring call. a lifeline with you now. You can bring a lifeline? I thought yeah. you couldn't. You know, That's right. Go anywhere now. Play Lionel. That's right. You can bring one, and then you also have one on the phone, or you can ask the host. I thought you asked the audience. No, there is no audience. That oh, show's still going. I haven't, I, yeah, I haven't watched it in ages. Mm -mm. I haven't either, but the other night I watched it because it was regular people. It wasn't celebrities. Oh, celebrities. What do you have against... Uh... What? Rosie son is, is Lenny Kravitz. June, are you hitting the wine? Rosie Broker's son is Penny Kravitz. <laughs> what? June, June, oh. what? Jack Jackson, good times. Yes. That's right. Jimmy J. J. Ward with Dynamite. You know what's interesting, which I didn't know. And then you were like, Chilo. That was his. That was oh, his by the way, did you. Oh. J.J. Walker is probably. Will I get sued if I say something derogatory? Yes. Huh? Yes, yes. I'm going to put you in the box. Wow. Oh. Oh. So. We don't have an added button, but we have a. Well, all I can say is I remember when he was at the height of his career and he was on the Pyramid Show during the day. And I felt sorry for all the contestants because they knew as soon as he was their partner, they were history. He didn't get one. One, uh, oh goodness, ocean. well, he was not real popular with Esther Roll on Good Times. Well, no, Esther Roll wasn't very happy with the way his mm -hmm. character was being portrayed because she didn't like uh, because, she didn't because, like, because yeah, very like, hysteric, and then she didn't like that. And she told Norman there, like, I'm leaving, and she left for a season. And then they're like, All right, all right, all right, you need to come back. And that was the season six. She, she finally came back, and um, he does not go out with Ann Coulter. And Colton denies that rumor, by the way. Who? Mike Linda Evans? Jo Linda's saying that, no, that J Jimmy J.J. Walker oh. goes out with Ann Coulter, and he's oh no, my God. very good friends. He leans towards the concert. He's a, a logistic. He's, like, logical. He doesn't right. say, doesn't play the... Gotcha. The character, but he, well, he didn't right. have too much logic on the pyramid. <laughs> pyramid is hard when you're nervous. Just saying. I don't know. That's like pressure. You think you do good on game shows? No. I you think, think you can ever compete on Jeopardy? No, hundred percent. I was on a quiz show. Yes, tell us that story. Well, you know, when you sit home and you go, "Oh, how stupid!" Oh, what's the matter with them? Why don't they know the answer? You know. Right. Well, let me tell you. I tried out for a quiz show, and I was brilliant during the audition. I literally a hundred percent. I was great. So I made the show 
And when it came to actually, you know, being on the show and answering questions, I was like a deer in the headlights. My brain just shut down and I could not think. Literally, your brain does not function. So I give, I give praise unlimited to anybody who's on a quiz show and can, can you know, compete under pressure because it is hard. Very so, hard. So that's almost like a form of stage fright because you, yeah. perform, right? Before, so you were out there in front of the masses, mm -hmm. and you still. But I did, did win. Don't you think that you could you could do a quiz show? I would or, not have stage fright. I would mean, just dumb. <laughs> answer the questions on Jeopardy. <laughs> See, I could answer the questions, but I would have stage fright. You're all stage fright. So there's the. Yeah. There's the but so I, I would have. have Judy whispering in my ear, yeah, yeah. you know. Oh, that happened too, right? Right. What the, didn't somebody, some guy get Yeah, over? well, that was, they gave the answers. The uh, show gave them the answers. But uh, actually, I won $1,700, a year's supply of rice serrano, and Jiffy Pop. Our basement was packed. We had rice serrano coming this out of our ears. Her, you, want, you want any rice serrano? She's like, no way, sucker. No. <laughs> No, it's, I, my sodium was high. I was like 13 years old. I had the highest sodium. Seven billion. You were not. You were about six. All right, so six. My sodium shouldn't have been that high. But Judy, that's exciting. What show was it? Ma? What? What show? What show? It was, it was called Jackpot. It was based on riddles. Jackpot? Jackpot! Yeah, that's what I had to do. You know, I had to be like real animated. But, you know, it started off very bad for me because I had this really nice, like, sweater on. And on the front was, like, um, like a, a shadows of people. And it said, um, I think it said the Waldorf. And somebody, the, one of the people, you know, the, the coordinators on the show looked at me. We were all online. And she went, oh, what are you wearing? And I'm like, what? You know? supposedly there was, I don't know, like it would have been advertising or something. Today, it doesn't matter. You could wear whatever you want on a show. But that freaked me out. Right away, I had to run and change into the only other clothes I had. You know, so I, I, was, I, I was really, huh? Uh, they threw you off your game there. They sure I did. I felt like an idiot. You're not focused on jackpot. No. I was what focused on you best at? Judy, what game show do you think you would be best I mean, at? I think I would, Match game? Well, 25,000? Well, if, if no, if I didn't have stage fright, I would probably be best on Jeopardy. Yeah. But she really? did send in an audition tape for a Wheel of Fortune. I really? have to say that. <laughs> Where is that? You have that? What? You have the audition tape? For... Yeah, but nobody's ever going to see it. It's terrible. Well, I know where you. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> I think if, any, if any game show, I'd probably be okay on Wheel of Fortune, but even that, you you have to think a certain way, you know. And I don't always when when I'm hot and cold with that. Game. I need someday, a lot of letters. Someday a lot I'm of getting, letters. You wanted to spell. I, I basically you wanted to, spelled out with like one vowel missing. You have to guess everything, and even then, it's a shot. Yeah. Great, but then when I know it and the other people don't, yeah, you're like, I'm like, what is and they're like, um F. What and did like, I tell you? Tell you. Like, what's wrong with you? Your brain shuts down. I just told you that. I know, I know, I know. But you know very bad. It's I think okay. I would have been good on like password. And the password is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like on Saturday Night Live, bro? Did you ever see that with Kristen Wiig? I didn't see I, I probably have seen it. I, but whenever funny. I see Password, I really I think, back, the word. I think back to the odd couple when they're on it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Graphite. Like, you know, just lead. <laughs> Graphite. I think I would be good at the, the pyramid. You think the pyramid would be I think like, I would be pretty good at speed, the pyramid. It speed. is. It that was the show I originally was trying out for, but instead I got jackpot because they were both produced by the same people. I love that you were. But I wanted, I wanted pyramid originally. I wish there was video. I wish we could find video. She's got it. 
Judy Sorrentino on Jackpot. You know, it won't come up. Maybe we'll Google it. It won't come up. I'm Googling it. Go ahead. It won't come up. I mean, it was oh. so old. It was so long ago. Go in the archives and get the, the archives. Yeah, you can find any. Right? I don't know, boy. God knows. I don't know either. I don't know. We should do a game show. <laughs> Jesus. Where's <laughs> it? And I answer like I'm like a Pavlov's dog. <laughs> rings the bell. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes, right away, miss. Right, let me just, yep, we're done here. Good. Send her home. Oh, it's Friday. All Friday. right, it's eight o'clock. I gotta go. Yeah, it's Friday, Junior. What do we got for the weekend? Is there anything exciting going on? Um, I am I am hosting my family this weekend. We're doing corned beef, cabbage, and shepherd's pie. I might tell them. Okay. I'm not even gonna tell you. I, I don't. You. Where is everybody sitting? Well, it depends on the weather. Rain. No. Nice. No, it's gonna be nice on Saturday. Nice. Nice. So Saturday. I was thinking I'm gonna get some wood so I can make an outdoor fire in the fire. What? Hello. Are you kidding? No. Relax. The old people are inside, Everybody but the young kids. Down. Wait a minute. Who's 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 all coming? Can we talk about this on the air? Well, I, I'm making the soup bread. I have to know. You're, don't, it's not a party. Don't worry. I, I'm just, party. No, I'm just thinking if you nice. wanted to step outside, I'd have a nice fire going. You got it. That's an option. My kids and the cousins, they might want to go outside. So I'll have a nice fire going. And then inside, you know, I have like a small couch and a chair. So it's a party so, for three. For three. Party of three. And then you could... You could come to my house and so you could stand outside? against the wall like it's this in the corner. Sweet. It is not that sweet. <laughs> While Lola stands in front of you and bars maniacally. Smells hang. <laughs> but by all means, come over. It'll be great. Sounds you and like Michelle. A, sounds swell. Michelle's been to my house. Yeah, well, I never get the invite. Well, so now you've been invited. And I make we're only partners, it's fine. I make a mean corned beef and cabbage, and I make a I like phenomenal beef. shepherd's pie. Well, there you go. Talk about farting. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't have to see you on Sunday, Judy. Yeah, really. <laughs> on Sunday, I'm like, there you go. Down it, down it. That's the jetpack. I guess the like, ball wow. down there fast. Enough. And you know, it's funny because now they do like the miles per hour on the ball on the screen. Mm -hmm. You're like, wow, Judy, I'm at 28 miles an hour. <laughs> Judy <laughs> doesn't do that. Oh, that no. Demia. I don't do that. Demia, I just went French again. What's with you in French? I don't know. And I don't even know French. I'm like multilingual. I know a little bit of Croatian, all the curse words. I know a little bit of Spanish, all the curse words. I know I know a lot of curse words. Different languages. Yeah, I know the Italian curse words. I know the Spanish. I know Italian curse words. Because I hear the kids say them all the time. Do you know how to speak another language? Are you fluent? Can you speak? I did something? not know. No. Judy, do you speak another language? No. Hey. Buenos dias, senora. Yeah. Me si. llamo es senora Kavanaugh. Yep. Eh, they, North Middle School. See. Si. <laughs> That's what I meant. Escuela is school. And then they start talking really fast, and I go, un momento. Español un poquito. <laughs> That's all I know. I do. See, my thing is, I can't speak it. I can understand it. If they're talking to me, I can get the gist right. of what they need. And then Not I can enough. direct them into yeah. the proper yeah. uh, direction. But I I get all flustered that so, I don't so, remember so the words. So, and es el baño. Means your dog is in the bathroom. That I got. This I know. Miss Avios de la now, cocina is in la cocina. In la cocina. My fishing gear is, is, in, is in, the, the, in the kitchen. kitchen. The great that was the story. <laughs> yeah, Katina. Uh, but no, I um I do what? not know I'm so Spanish. bad in Spanish that I that I I actually got to know like Sierra La Boca and I used to get yelled at I'm like, what is Sierra La Boca? It's shut your mouth. <laughs> so you know. Sorry, Miss Fairburn. You're so bad in Spanish we do not want you to speak. Yeah, like no, it wasn't like you're talking English, I'm not yes. trying to talk Spanish. Shush. Shut up. But now we are cliche par just 
des sous I forget. Plat. Pas. Plat. 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 We're going French on y'all. Yeah, I don't know. French is not easy. It is not no, easy. No, and, and you know who's fluent in French? Melanie Edwards. No. 100%. Wow. That's incredible. I was with her last night. I, she didn't even tell me she spoke French. She didn't speak French. Depends on how, many, how much wine she's had. She was right into French. Really? That's cool. No. I wish I could speak another language. I do. Well, what, what would it be? And don't say French. because no, 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 no. Exciting. I think, I mean, uh, all right. For practical purposes, obviously Spanish. Good. Right? But if I could just learn another language to be, you know, fluent in it, Italian. And here's that is a what sexy was, language. I like that. Here's what impressed me the most when I went to Italy, is these tour guides knew Italian, German, French, English. They spoke so many languages, and they would give their, as you're going on a tour, they'd explain it in English, they'd explain it in Italian, they'd explain it they in did, French. Yeah. It, it was just to know that many languages is just phenomenal. But let's face it, folks. I'm lucky I can speak English properly. Hey, English is tough. I mean, I was an, I'm an English teacher, so you would hope I could speak English properly and punctuate. I can speak Great Britainish. Hello. That's, it. That's Cockney. Hello, hello. Good day, governor. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to say goodbye. Hi, Rebecca. What do you think? Right. What do you think? Yeah, it's enough. Is it time to say goodbye? I think it's enough. We have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we're going to be back next week with our, our guest, not, Mark Tuminelli. Not next week. Not next week. The week after. you about me drinking. I'm sorry. We're going to be back um, the week after with Mark Tuminelli, who has the podcast, Literally. Little Me, Growing Up on Broadway. I'm just plowing through. I will be at Comics Roadhouse next Thursday mm -hmm. doing my stand-up thing, making people laugh, bringing the funny. New material? Uh, some of it, yes. I'm working on some new stuff, so this I'm very good. excited to try it out, but not too much because it's a big deal, and I want to make sure that, you know, I, I, get, the, I get the funny laughs. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John Edward. I love you, John Edward Thomas. You okay. are, comments are the best. So, folks, it, it was phenomenal seeing you. We will not see you next week, although I think I'm going to try to talk Bridget into going live a little bit from a week and Sun before we, you yeah. know. Another replacement. Bye. Bye. No. Bye. Well, you're busy. Are you? Well, yeah. Okay. You're supposed to be busy too. Whatever. I am, but I can like log on to Facebook and say hello. All right. Go ahead. All right, folks. Thank you so much. Bye, y'all. Um, as always, it is a pleasure. We love to see you. Yes, we do. Judy. Mom. I'm appearing nowhere. You look amazing. You're appearing you nowhere. Too. Good you're to see you. you. Listen, you're appearing at some of my shows in the audience. So, all right. Talk to you later. Are we still on? Well, that's our show for tonight. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you. All right. right. Yeah. Yeah, we're off. I think we're off. We do this every week. You, you, you think we know? Yeah, yeah we're, we're off. off. We're off, definitely. You were awesome. No, I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> so stop. You're unbelievable. Stop. You're amazing. Everybody loves it's you. you. No, everybody it's loves you. you. It's not me. It's you. It's Trust Rowan, me. Chris. No, listen. I think we're still on. I, no, we're off. We gotta be off.